Okay, this is my Lego Mindstorm balancing robot. Uh, it features the uh, Lego Mindstorm uh, basic kit. It uh, it has the like the first iteration uh, wheels, which are, are a little bit smaller than the larger wheels that you see on the newer uh, Mindstorm kits. Uh, it features the NXT uh, power brick, which is uh, a little bit outdated now. Uh, but still highly effective for the, the purpose that we're uh, using it today. Um, we have two motors driving our system, uh, complete with encoders, and they're uh, located right here and here. On the, uh, on the side for our balancing, we have a Dexter Industries uh, IMU, uh, Inertial um, uh, Movement Unit, and uh, that provides two types of information. Uh, we have it uh, providing uh, gyroscopic uh, acceleration information, and it also has a built-in accelerometer. We won't be using it for the uh, we won't be using the accelerometer for this particular uh, test um, because we'll be using Observer. So we'll take the information from the the gyroscope and we'll use that to extrapolate information as far as acceleration. Um, this balancing robot has been retrofitted with a platform uh, that you see here on the top. Um, I uh, added this on here and the purpose for that is to provide uh, an offset platform to add some weight, a disturbance that uh, will pull our, our robot backwards like this and uh, if all goes to plan the, ro the, the robot will lean forward like this to maintain balance and uh, keep whatever payload it has um, balanced on top of it. Uh, the payload that we're, we're going to be uh, uh, using is basically just you know your rather mill uh, can of soup that we have here. Uh, this one it, it weighs in at about one pound and three ounces. Um, that does uh, you know create enough of a disturbance where we start to see some oscillation um, you know about the set point. Uh, if we do any more uh, any more weight than that, then it will definitely uh, start to oscillate and become unstable. Uh, but for most part, it's it's relatively stable. And in addition to that, we also have uh, a test platform here that we're going to use. Uh, this is going to be a platform that we're going to place the uh, balancing robot on, and we're going to um, add some, uh, you know. Um, change in the topology so we'll we'll lift up one side of it so that the balancing robot is on an inclined platform and then we'll uh, we'll go to the other side of that platform and we'll lift that side up as well and uh, the balancing robot will be able to accommodate both types of um, input disturbances so let's go ahead and we can get it started up